Are you an artist struggling at how to make money on Instagram? Well, today's your lucky day. I'm Subi Zimmerman, and I am here with one of my favorite Instagram artists, Matea. There's three things I want to share with you today so that all of you can do the same because Matea has increased her business, she's doubled her business in less than nine months. So you shared with me one simple thing you did to your bio. What was that? I changed my profile picture. Before I had on my personal with my dog, now I have my art illustration, one of mine. Okay, so before it was just a picture of her holding her dog, and now it's an illustration that she created so that every time she comments on other people's accounts, people will see that amazing illustration and they'll be curious, they'll be connected to it emotionally and they'll want to click in, go over to your account and most likely start following you. So you're attracting your ideal follower. The second thing you share with me is your posting strategy. Now you do several things to set yourself up for success with your posting strategy. Why don't you share a few of those things? Yes, I, I changed um, before I had very, a lot of personal pictures, now I have more work because it's all about my brand, not about so much about me. So I post my work, my illustrations, my creative process, and I took uh, also a movie on uh, how I hand, how I uh, drawing. Oh, you do the video, you show, yes. you show the process. And also you stage, you put your art on walls to, to let people know what it will look like yes. once it's actually hung on a wall. So you do a lot of step-by-step -step process and show people the, the work behind each illustration. You occasionally post pictures of yourself, right? Because it's very important. To humanize the brand. Yes. And you show the tools that you use. You show your watercolors and your brushes, right? Yes. So you have a variety of different types of posts, right? Yes. And you also have very, very high standards at the quality of your photos. So why don't you share what you do to get the, your photos such great quality? I always use my camera. I use uh, white paper and always do it when it's uh, day, a daylight, natural light. This is very important for me. I, I, have, I don't have studio, but I have a natural light and white paper which reflects and gives you a, a great... Okay. Uh, well, you're going to have a studio soon because you're doing so well. So, she uses natural light outside. She takes white paper or you can use a foam board. She puts it near the window if she can't get outside and she has amazing photos. So you should definitely go in. We're going to link it all up in the show notes below so that you can check out her account to see all that. And lastly, the third thing you did was you discovered your best hashtags. So you told me that you used to use some hashtags that attracted people that were like follow for follow, shout out for shout out, and kind of spammy Instagrammers, and you didn't like that. And you yes. spent a lot of time, months, months, figuring out which ones work best. So why don't you share with all the other artists some of the ones as a watercolor illustrator that are working well for you. Watercolors, watercolors illustration, art print, kids decor. Me, my illustration is my brand. I'm using it. Insta Live, don't forget. <laughs> Insta Live, okay. My beautiful mess. I, I, yeah, yes. so you just discovered my beautiful yes. mess, right? So yes. my beautiful mess, because if you're an artist, it's a beautiful mess. So that's a great hashtag. So when you go in and you check her out, you can check out those hashtags that she's using that are working well for her, where she's attracting her ideal follower who has turned into a paying customer. So again, bio, great avatar, posting strategy with very high quality photos, and a hashtag strategy. So because I like to over deliver, is there one more thing that we can tell all the listeners that you're doing that's really helping you grow your business? Engagement. It's so important to be engaged. I watch an, uh, different accounts, I comment, I'm honest uh, with my comments. Um, so, when you say, so when you say engagement, because in being honest and being authentic, it means she's really taking the time to leave a comment 
that matches up to what the photo or the post is. Yes. And the more you engage in other people's comment, in other people's posts, the more they'll come back and engage on your posts. And this is something that you've discovered that's worked very well for you, right? Yes, yes. All right, so if you're an artist and you like this video and you learned a thing or two, please subscribe. Or if you have a question, I love answering them, so leave them in the comments below. I am the Instagal, and we are here from Miami, sunny Miami, with the palm trees, having a great time teaching all the artists out there how to use Instagram to make more money.